Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In the last session, we discussed how to display all the elements in the single linked list, how to insert a node in the middle of the linked list. Now, in this session, we will see how to delete a node, how to delete a node in the linked list. So, remember if you want to delete a node from the linked list, so first we have to check whether it is a first node or not or it is a last node or not or it is in the middle of the linked list, right. Three different logics we have to write. So, why reasons C. For example, the function name we are writing delete delete function we are writing delete and list also we are taking suppose root variable root variable so initially suppose is having only two nodes because in the first case i want to delete the first node first node in that how to write for example 20 null 10 and 1000 is pointing to this location, two nodes are there, we know that root node is always pointing to that first node. Next how to delete elements, suppose I want to delete the first node, first we are checking. So, to perform the temporary operations, we are declaring a pointer variable, temp variable, we know that root variable is a global variable, no need to disturb that root variable, mean root variable. So, first we are checking what is the location, what is the location. So, first, first we are asking printf enter location to delete, enter location to delete scanf percentage d address of location into location variable we are collecting loc. Just consider loc is a 1 the first node or for example, if it is a 5, 5 only a list is having two nodes, but location is a fifth location, there is no such location. So, we cannot perform deletion operation. So, clearly we are printing the message if, if the location what they entered is greater than length of the list, simply length method we are calling length method or separately you can call and we can collect no problem right. So, if you want to collect you can length and here it is simply we are printing the message invalid location invalid location the message we are giving message else if here we are writing else if imagine if the location is equals to 1, we are collecting into loc is equals to 1, nothing but the end user want to delete the first node from the single linked list, right. How to delete the first node? So, very simple. First, we are taking the help of one temporary variable, right. So, here it is a temporary variable already declared into the temporary variable we are storing the root value. So, nothing but temp contains temp contains root, root means what 1000 clearly, 1000 is pointing to this one, pointing. If you want to delete the first node, if you want to delete the first node, very simple, the second node right should pointed by root after that. After deleting the first node, we should store the value 2000 into this location, 2000. How to store? 2000, 2000 we need to store into root variable, root variable. See this location, of course, root is pointing to the first node and a temp is also pointing to the first node, but rule is all the operations we should perform with the help of temp variable only. So, do not disturb the root. So, temp value is a 1000, 1000 to link is a 2000, temp to temp to link value, temp to link value 
is a 2000 will be stored into root here it is root so root value is not 2000 not 1000 it is a 2000 it stop pointing and it start pointing to the second node first root is pointing to the second node now we have to delete the first node left side connection is not there and we should remove right side connection also reason suppose if node is connected to either from left side or from the right side we cannot delete that node nothing but we cannot release the memory which is occupied and one more thing very very important thing in any programming language no question of deletion of a memory only overriding possibilities are there we can replace the information we can't delete the memory locations and we can we cannot delete the data which is inside the memory location manually so if you want to apply free function in dynamic memory allocation we have seen already if you want to release the memory free function we have to call but to call the free function right here it is a left side connections are not there right side also it should not suppose to connect it to any other node so here you have to place null value so that we can release this connection how to place in temp to link in a temp to link location we need to place the null value so here null value will be placed so right side connection also not there now this node is a free node is a free from the left side no one is pointing from the right side no one is pointing in the list so simply if you want to release right we have to free this temp variable free of temp variable free of temp variable right suppose if you want to delete the first node from the list if you want to delete the first node from the list and finally a root should point into the second node so we have to delete the first node with the help of temp variable right simply like this right if the condition is a true if length is a greater than or equals to length it is invalid location else if if location is equals to 1 if it is a first location if you want to delete the first node so then what we have to do so means uh, we need to execute this logic that will be deleted sir suppose first location is okay in the middle or at the end right one more else block we have to write how it will delete observe how to delete a node which is in the middle of the single linked list or at the end of the single linked list for both only one logic is enough because I will execute and I will show you after return ok see suppose this is a link is a first node is a second node is a third node it is a fourth node so total four nodes I am taking 40 null suppose 4000 4000 30 third node link 2000 here second node link 1000 and that will be stored into root root so it is ready again it is ready now how can we delete else if else if or simply else because for the middle or at the end this is enough if there is no such location if block executes if the location one else if block execute or if it is not the first location or location is not there then we can go for last else block just consider third node we have to delete if location equals to 3 consider imagine if location is a 3 then how to delete if you want to delete this one first we need to send the control to here with the help of loop suppose we are declaring i value i value 1 while i is less than location minus 1 and uh, one more variable we need to declare one more variable struct temp struct node star like a p variable p is equals to 
initially root contains p it contains a root what is the root value is it 1000 initially root value we are storing into a pointer variable p of type a struct node type so it is holding the value 1000 next i value starts with a 1 1 is less than less than location minus 1 location value is what 3 3 minus 1 2 condition true so here inside that p2 link value we are collecting into p already what is the p value 1000 right to insert the element in the middle of the list how we are sending the control in the same way we are sending right Hi, but here it is why sir location minus 1 there it is a location because there after we are inserting and here it is a in that case I want to delete that particular node I want to delete so before we should stop so minus 1 ok so here it is 1 minus 2 condition true p2 link value will be stored into p p2 link value is a 2000 2000 next uh, i value we are increasing but anyway i value become 2 condition fail reason p is already pointing to this node p is already pointing to this node then one more pointer we are taking suppose q q we should make pointing to the node that what you want to delete suppose one more we are taking pointer to q so here it is into q what we are storing p to link value we are storing p value is 2000 p value is 2000 2000 to link is what is a 3000 so, 3000 we are storing into q. So, q value is a 3000, p value is a 2000. Now, I want to delete this node. How to delete? If you want to delete this node, observe. If you want to delete this node, first 4000 you should store into this location. 4000, what is 4000? q to link. What is that? Q to link is a 4000, Q to link will be stored into P to link, right? We are storing into P to link. So, 4000 will be stored here, 4000. Then it start pointing. Now, we have to delete this one. This connection already lost right side connection is there that we have to terminate. So, here in this link you have to place a null value. So, q to link equals to null, q to link equals to null. Then here we have to place null value, then right side connection also lost. Then simply what we have to do just uh, we have to free of q free of q simple then you will lose this one this one sir in the middle ok suppose if it is a last node sir then how it you can apply the same logic i am executing observe see for example sir if location is a 4 consider if location is a 4 then how you will execute sir how you will execute 4 is nothing but a last node sir then you said that uh, same logic we can apply to the last node deletion also how just execute the same logic then you will understand clearly first of all first we are taking p root value root value is a thousand and location is a 4 and i value starts with a 1 so now 1 is less than 4 minus 1 3 p to link value will be stored into p p to link value is 2000 next i value become 2 condition true next p2 link value will be stored into p is nothing but 3000 next value is a 3 condition false now then it will stop nothing but now p is pointing to this one third node next p2 link value will be stored into q right so q is pointing to this node 
pointing. Now observe q2 link value is a 4000, q2 link value will be stored into p2 link, q2 link value, q2 link is a null, null value will be stored into p2 link, this happens null, then it stop pointing. Next uh, null value will be stored into q2 link, null value will be stored into q2 link, already null na? So, it is once again replaced with a null, no problem or else uh, right here it is you can remove this one, if you write uh, separately, but if you use the same logic then only this is the extra statement no problem, null once again will be replaced with a null what will happen nothing, instead of writing the code once again you can use this one and next finally free of q, then this will be deleted, this is last node. So, for the first node only you have to write the logic separately, if the node is in the middle or if the node is at the end only one logic is enough, this is the logic is enough ok. So, this is how to delete a node, so in all the previous sessions and in this session we discussed completely about how to append a node, uh, how to insert a node in the beginning and how to insert a node at the end, how to insert the node in the middle, how to delete, how to display, how to find the length. Okay, almost all the operations, basic operations on the linked list completed. Okay, so in the next session we'll see how to implement the code, right? For all these operations in a single linked list, right? I hope you enjoy this video. For more videos, please log into Naresh IT channel. Thank you.